two really good freezer meal recipes for you in this video um, that you can put together, put in the freezer, and use later on at another time. Of course, they're good. You can use them right away, too, if you wish, but um, these are really good. And then another tip is anytime you're making any meal that you like, see what parts of it that you can put together, get it started, put one in the freezer, and cook one for tonight for dinner. You know, just having something in the freezer makes me feel good. I got something for later on, something for a day where I just don't feel like doing anything. Um, if I start not feeling good, so, you know, the family starts not feeling good, it's something that you have ready to go. So please, if you like uh, to watch things that happen in the kitchen, cooking, meal planning, uh, grocery hauls, please go ahead and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I am here with another freezer meal. Something I love to do is whenever you can, make two. If you're going to put something in the freezer, if you're going to go to the trouble, chopping carrots, chopping onions, and celery, just make two. Make sure you write on your bags before you start. I have had this trouble and then I'm stuck trying to write on a bag full of food. Uh, these are uh, chicken noodle soup. I'm going to make two. Make sure you um, put any instructions. So you're going to need to add six cups of water when you go to make this. Uh, you could put it on the crock pot on low for six to eight hours or you could simmer it on the stove top for two hours um, until the chicken is cooked because this is just a prep. This is not cooking anything. It's very basic uh, chicken noodle soup recipe, but since I do plan on probably giving one away, I, I like to go basic. That way, um, try to keep the folks happy. Got celery, onion, carrots. I'm going to use um, this broth base. This is um, a chicken broth base. It has parsley flavoring in it as well. I actually get this from my local, I have a bulk food store. Um, and I've been really pleased with this. This is the first time I've tried it, um, and I love it. So I'm going to definitely get that again. Um, I have not tried these. I have seen quite a few people on YouTube using them. They look delicious. This Reams brand homestyle egg noodles, there's 24 ounces is here. I'm going to split it in half between each um, soup recipe. Uh, from the picture and everything, they look to be a little thicker. When we get them opened and drop in, we'll see. And I'm using chicken thigh, and so I have a pound and a half, and same thing I'm going to do uh, half and half. All right, let's get to chopping. I don't have any of those special bag stands. I've seen some people do them. I'm just going to kind of get the bag open, go like this. I am going to start with vegetables and end with chicken, just so my chopping, I feel like that's cleaner. Um, really no other reason. This calls for one... So it's a half of an onion, so I'm going to chop one, put it in both, three stalks of celery per bag, and two carrots per bag. Let me get this all chopped up for you. So I have a half an onion chopped in each bag, and I wanted to show you um, my celery. Now, I thought it was funny, I was watching a different YouTube um, video, and she pulled off every single stalk of the celery like that before she cleaned it. And I thought it was funny because I've never in my life done that. I've always done this. Because then as, after she's pulled them all off and washed them, she took this big chunky white end off anyway. So just wanted to show you that's what I do. Um, the other thing is I love the celery leaves. These are so delicious. Um, and if you're not familiar or celery is really not your thing, to eat raw with a dip go to the middle these lighter color ones in the middle these are so tender and they have a different flavor they really do they're a little bit lighter on the flavor they're lighter on um, like the ribs how they could get really um, stringy and everything the middle ones do not have that so don't get rid of these these things are delicious this is what you want for a dip the other thing I do with celery is I cut it just like this. I will rinse it out in my sink and I'm just going to cut all of it into bites because that's about all we ever do with celery is we're going to possibly um, eat it with a dip like that or, you know, where you cut the stalk in a few pieces or then you're going to just chop it up further for a soup. So 
um, you know, you might as well get this chopping started. And I tried to leave a lot of the um, tops on it. So there we go. So I am going to peel and chop two carrots for each bag of soup. Um, when I went through my carrots, I'm going to try to pick ones that are similar size. I like this thinner size um, instead of this, you know, much thicker one. So we'll do something like that. Um, you want to chop them where everything is going to cook at the same time. Um, and I, I don't know if you saw, have noticed, chopping my onion and my celery, and you'll see the carrots. I like things quite small. I know that's me being a little more particular, um, but that's just the way I like the taste of it. So let's get to peeling and chopping carrots. Here are my carrot scrapings, and I think you, if you've watched a few of my other episodes, I've mentioned we do have guinea pigs. So, this is one of the reasons I like the guinea pigs, is you get to give them all the scraps. They did hear me come check on them. You don't know what to think of my phone. Let's see, do you like the carrots? Do you like the carrots? Not sure. I'm going to say Buttercup is in her house. Okay, we got a sneak peek of her. She will definitely come out and have some carrots. They're sisters. Enjoy your. And the last thing to chop up is chicken. So as you see, it's really not that much extra work when you already have everything out. Um, I was thinking I should have even possibly purchased enough to do this three times, but this will work. Um, and like I said, I decided on chicken thigh. You can do um, whatever kind of um, chicken your family likes. On chicken thigh, I do feel like it has a lot of this. Um, if you're not comfortable with your knife, use a pair of kitchen scissors and that works so easily, way easier than a knife. Um, some of the little tiny bits is fine, in my opinion, to leave on. I mean, your soup, obviously, all of it's fine to leave on, but sometimes it gets a little bit harder to um, cut or anything. But those kitchen scissors just go right through it. And my kitchen scissors are dishwasher safe, so we just throw them in the dishwasher. I feel fine that it's all good to go.
we got all of our chopping finished, everything in the bag. I'm going to put in my one tablespoon of broth base. If you had bouillon cubes, you'd put those in because um, this will have enough time, however you're cooking it, for it to dissolve and put all that yummy deliciousness. Or, of course, you can also, you know, have your cartons of chicken stock and, you know, give, uh, if you're giving it away, you know, give it away with two, I think two boxes of chicken stock would be six cups and, you know, they can use it that way. Um, I am going to open these up. I'm really curious about them. Like I said, I've never used them before. Oh yeah. So they're nice texture. Um, I like the size of them, especially for a soup. That's perfect of what you'd want. Yep, they're a nice, uh, they're an egg noodle. Um, they didn't even have any kind of store brand or anything. I think I'm just going to use my hands. The way I open the bag is going to fall everywhere. They didn't have a store brand or anything at my store, so, but I've seen this brand multiple times used by lots of different cooking that I watch on YouTube, so I believe it to be delicious. I'm just looking at them right now. They look delicious. Then they're in the frozen section. I don't know if I said that. And um, so you're wanting, you will want to put your bags in the freezer so that uh, the noodles stay frozen. I don't think it would be too good of an idea to not keep them frozen. They may become one big clump. But, you know, cook it up anyways. Don't waste. Try it out. There we go. My freezer bags. I am going to get these in the freezer. And uh, that way I have chicken noodle soup one day later this week, next week, whenever I need it. So I am ready to assemble I have two of these. I'm going to make one to put in the freezer and one I'm going to just throw in the oven right now and bake because we're going to eat it tonight. So this is Million Dollar or Millionaire Spaghetti. Uh, what I have in here cooked up, uh, each of these pans has one pound of sausage with a half a pound of ground beef and half of a jar, half of a super large jar, I should say, half of this jar of sauce so this says that it is two pounds of sauce so half in each I have two pounds which is this package 32 ounces of cooked spaghetti and in here I have two jars of this marinara see these say that they are 24 ounces one pound um, and eight ounces so there that other jar isn't quite two of those so that's mixed up and ready to go and then for my um, instead of a ricotta mixture oh in the sausage and beef I have one onion and some garlic but instead of using ricotta I like to use cottage cheese so I used the full container here 16, 24 ounces, 24 ounces of cottage cheese. I added four ounces only of some sour cream, kind of thins it out, and eight ounces of cream cheese. And I have that in here. Uh, of course, you can just mix it up. Um, I just prefer this texture when you've um, put it in your food processor. And we're gonna top it with some mozzarella. So let's get to assembling. I have a 9 by 13 pan. I'm going to make them both in these foil pans. Um, I got this at the Dollar Tree. And a tip is when you go to bake it, to bake it on a cookie sheet. Because once this is full, this pan isn't very sturdy. So you're going to put down um, one-fourth of your noodles. Just going to eyeball it down on the bottom of your pan. Spread them out. This is really nice when you're cooking things. Think of possibly, you know, the possibility of doubling it 
and putting one in the freezer for yourself or later on for somebody else. Uh, if somebody else comes up with you know a need in their household and you'll have something ready to go and give them. And so it's really nice when you can just double up something like that. Um, these just seem to work out perfect. That box of pasta from Aldi comes in that. So you put down one quarter of your pasta because I'm doubling it. Um, I'm gonna put half of this cheese ricotta not ricotta the fake ricotta <laughs> it's cottage cheese and cream cheese mixture in here make a layer of that and this freezes really well comes out perfect nice and easy there we go another scoops worth for this one maybe a chunk of cream cheese somebody gets in the middle there it looks like okay now I'm gonna put another one-fourth from the beginning of my pasta down right and then you are going to top it with all of your mixture one pound of sausage a half a pound of ground beef a onion that has been sauteed with that and some garlic um, this one I have them separated I could have made it all in one pan um, this one has hot sausage and the other one is plain. So that way, you know, depending on if I'm giving it away or something, um, some people might not like it hot. And then you need mozzarella cheese. Top it with, um, this was a four cup bag, so I'm gonna do half of it. I have a little bit of extra. And you're gonna bake it at 350. Now, if it's frozen, it is from frozen, solid frozen. It's gonna take almost two hours. Um, in the oven, but obviously this is all cooked, so you're just kind of getting everything to come together. So this could be done in as quick as like 30 minutes. I think I have more cheese in the fridge, so I'm going heavy. Going a little heavy on it. All right, now I'm going to assemble the other one and not bake it. So you just assemble it at this point. Um, you could put foil over it. If you have parchment paper, you could put that on and then foil. The parchment will make the cheese not stick. So there we go.